So why exactly would the company Pepsi put a well-known toxin in their Mountain Dew recipe? Because it's cheap, convenient, and makes their product very marketable. Brominated vegetable oil, or BVO, is a form of the toxic element bromine and is used as an emulsifying agent in citrus flavored sodas to keep the flavor oils from dispersing and floating to the top. To be fair, Mountain Dew isn't the only soda that contains BVO. It's used in as many as 10% of the sodas available on the market. BVO isn't the only form of bromine in the food supply though. Other sources of bromine include potassium bromate in conventional flour and baked goods, lithium bromide and potassium bromide in cough syrups like Robitussin, and methyl bromide, which is a pesticide that's used on conventional strawberries. So how exactly is bromine toxic? Well, one of the key things that bromine is noted for is building up in your body's tissues. And one of the ways that it does this is through the body's glandular system. It turns out that bromine is part of the halogen or halide group of chemically similar elements that include fluorine, chlorine, and iodine. Iodine is the only one of these elements that's good and necessary for the human body, so much so that the body's glandular system has receptor sites that are designed specifically for iodine. However, bromine, like fluorine and chlorine, can occupy these receptor sites, most notably in the thyroid gland, and thus prevent your body from getting the iodine that it needs. In extreme cases, bromine can build up in your body tissues to the point where it causes bromism, which is a disease caused by chronic exposure to bromine or one of its compounds. Bromism can be characterized by mental dullness, memory loss, slurred speech, tremors, muscular weakness, skin eruption, and a transitory state resembling paranoid schizophrenia. Now to be clear, cases of bromism are due to heavy exposure to bromine and are usually due to occupational exposure. With that said, the toxicity of bromine is definitely no secret and has been known about for decades. In fact, BVO is toxic enough to have been banned in Japan, India, and the European Union. Now, Pepsi apparently stopped using brominated vegetable oil in its Mountain Dew recipe in 2020, but only after years of intense public scrutiny. Removing BVO from its ingredient list was almost certainly done for marketing reasons, as several questionable ingredients like high fructose corn syrup and yellow number five remain in its recipe. And this goes to show that you certainly can't trust companies when it comes to protecting your health and wellness. Now there's definitely no shortage of neurotoxins such as bromine in this modern world. So if you wanna stay ahead of the curve with up-to-date information on how to avoid these toxic pitfalls and maintain a stronger, faster mind, be sure to hit the subscribe button below. I super appreciate you taking the time to watch today and look forward to seeing you next time.